Denver, if you're watching this, which I'm willing to bet you guys are, I respect the hell of the Nuggets. Frustratingly good as they are, they have earned my respect. Jokic comes in and, and continues to play. Murray, we just have no answers for him. And how about Aaron Gordon? How about Eric Gordon is making its making its wrath when Neil Goods down hurts. The Heat played awful. Really played awful tonight. I actually stopped watching because knowing that the Heat was wasn't gonna win this game. Uh Bruce Brown making that three point shot, that was it. So as I'm making this video, the game is still Kind of going on. Uh, well, now, now there's a final score: 108 to 95, Denver. We literally failed to protect home court. Literally failed. Did we? Did we not understand how big of a win that was in Denver to tie the series up? We had an opportunity to get make some good games happening in home in games three and four and we did not win any of it I feel horrible for those folks who paid 400, 500, 600 even 700 to come in and watch I feel horrible and they played like shit Bam out of bio played like shit our defense played horrible and it's not that they played horrible, right? Even if we play good defense, Denver still finds a way to make a shot in. They just do. There's no answers for this Denver team. So my problem's not necessarily with Denver. My problem is really on, on our own. Our own team. Bam on a bow has committed this many turnovers. Eight Turnovers. Eight turnovers. That might be a heat record of how many point how many turnovers in the finals game. Eight turnovers. Bam committed. Eight. In the most in the most gut wrenching in the most important sequence that the Heat need. Where? Where's this Bam out of bow? The type of player that we need. He was not there. 20 points and 11 rebounds. Double double. No, those are overshadowed by eight turnovers. Eight turnovers. He is eight for 18 shots. Eight for 18. He can't even make a 15 jump foot jumper. But you can you can miss a dunk. That's the thing. He missed a dunk. But even if he made that dunk, he got called for offensive interference and broke the hoop. And just what do you know? Denver capitalized. Oh, Jokic got hurt. He was not playing the majority of the game. He only played about 37 minutes. 37 minutes. His average in the playoff game is 42 to 43 minutes. Even with five fouls. Five fouls that Jokic committed. And he was on the bench. He was on the bench. On the bench. And the Heat still... Could not capitalize. That's bullshit. I'm. If I was a coach, I'm. I would be really disappointed. Kevin Love seemed to be the only Heat player with least amount of minutes, least amount of minutes, who wanted to play and actually wanted to win. Out of all those guys, the one of our biggest players hits three three pointers out of five. He hustles and he can make rebounds. 12 points with just 18 minutes played. Why isn't he getting that many minutes? Jimmy Butler. Honestly, he tried his best. 
But in the clutch scenarios, you got to take care of the basketball. But he still managed to score 25 points. Bam out of power. This is what this where frustrates me the most. He played 44 minutes in, committed eight turnovers. When you can literally put someone like Haywood Highsmith, who was a good defender, a damn good defender, six foot four, sure. But this is the second season. He can play basketball if you just let him. Give him a try. Right now, we have essentially nothing to lose we're down 3-1 we could not protect home court we could not protect 305 and when we to think that we had a slightest bit of hope of beating denver in colorado in game two you would think we could actually capitalize in a 305 area but no we failed and we failed horribly this is how badly we failed Game three, we lost 109-94. That's about 17 points, roughly. Is it 17 points? No, actually, actually it might have been 15, so my mistake. 15 points we lost. This game, we lost by 13. Embarrassing. Literally Embarrassing. We had hope, and we couldn't capitalize on the hope. Jokic not playing, we, we had hope, and we still play like shit. Jimmy Butler's buzzer beater in the first quarter. We had hope, and then the rest of it, we just went to shit. Something needs to be changed. It's frustrating that we're losing the finals, and we're... And this is why I'm going to talk. I'm going to say, Denver fans, I respect the Nuggets as what they how they play. They played hell of a lot better than the Heat does. And the it, the comments are going to say, you know, but we're the best team in the West. We're number one seed. It doesn't. To me, the seeds doesn't matter because we're the, because we're the eighth seed. We still make the finals. We beat number one Milwaukee. We beat number five uh, New York. And we beat number two Boston to get to the finals. Now, granted, the Boston series was ugly. We would have been on the wrong side of history, but we made it to the finals. That's the important part. It's to, how to make it to the finals. The Heat exceeded, definitely exceeded my expectations um, this season. We played, we played, um, we played mediocre at best. All season long, up to that play-in team as the A seed, we were supposed to make it this far. Now, I'm saying this assuming that we're going to play like crap next game on Monday, where we're going to lose the finals anyway. And most likely, that's going to be that's going to be that case because we go back to Denver on Monday. We go back to that same situation that we've been in games one and two where the altitude is just going to be much more difficult than six feet above water. That What a joke. So, I'm not expecting much in game five. So, that's why I, I want to tell I want to tell you, Denver, Denver fans, saying, if that's how it's going to be, I want to unofficially and this and I'm saying this with I'm saying it with um, I'm saying it with assuming that that's gonna happen because I think it's gonna happen there's only one team that could come back from three to one deficit and that would be the Cleveland Cavaliers but do, but saying with that being said I want to unofficially congratulate you guys for winning the NBA finals if i jinx it you can hate me but truth the truth of the matter be told i really don't think we're gonna do this i just don't i'm supposed to be a a big giant heat fan and i am and i'm always gonna be through thick and thin but the way how we played on wednesday 
and tonight I really don't expect much anymore if Tyler Hero comes back great we just we by that point we have nothing to lose we just have nothing to lose anymore now the Heat are, are just trying to survive and play more basketball and maybe have a little miracle but I I just at this point I really don't see it that way I just don't it would be great. I just don't see it. So Monday nights, if that's if that's how it's gonna be, I probably would get over that loss fairly quickly because the team I love the Miami Heat. Always. Always, always, always. No matter how frustrating a team is to watch, no matter how awesome it is to watch, and no matter how mediocre it is to watch. Or unsettling to watch. The Heat would be my team thick and thin. That's the most important thing. But. We'll see what happens. We're down 3-1. I don't expect much. Um, and uh, yeah. That's going to do this video folks. If you like this video. Hit the like button, subscribe for more content because Miami TVG has your back. And when he does, he'll be right there with the entertainment you deserve. It's Miami TVG. Go Heat. No matter how bad it gets. And I'll see you guys um, Monday night for potentially the last game of our season. And I'll see you tomorrow night for the Florida Panthers. Hopefully, we tie up that series and not go down 3-1 like the Heat is right now. So, Alright guys. Good night.